I think you're a little lightheaded from all the blood you lost. Oh, Rosie, come on. Or maybe you're caught up in the romance of all the danger. But there's no way in hell you're in love with Kate Howard. I might be happy for you if I didn't know how this was going to end. Kate and I have a connection. If she gets me, I that don't is ridiculous. Me. You guys are from two different worlds, Sonny. You don't know Kate the way I do, Claudia. Well, I know you. And I know who you are. I know where you come from. She will never get you. She will never understand you. You're so wrong. You are asking to get hurt. What Kate and I have is no better or worse than what you and I had. It's just different. We're adults. We're, we're, it's not about games and, 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 and drama. We both know what we want. You think she's going to want you when she's done with her community service? She's going to head back to the city so fast and leave you. I sucked it up and wished you well, Carly. You need to do the same for me. I want that for you. And when you figure out that Kate can't give you either one, I promise you I will not say I told you so. <clears throat> Sonny, you need to rehydrate and raise your blood sugar level. I found some water. Thanks. And then I'm a little lightheaded. I told you you were a little lightheaded. Carly, don't do this right now, okay? Fine. You're in good hands. I'm out of here. No, you're not. There's a killer on the loose, and his mercenaries are waiting to clean up the witnesses. Jason can handle Anthony Zakara. And besides, you don't officially get to tell me what to do anymore. Could you possibly act like a grown-up for once? Excuse me? You are so busy trying to get Sonny's attention that you're willing to risk your life in order to see if he'll get up off the couch and chase after you. Sonny can't chase me. He's too weak from trying to impress you. Carly. If you go out there in the dark with a gun in your hand, charging around, somebody's going to wind up dead. And I don't want it to be you. You know, you are obviously a strong, capable woman. You may even have a good heart, but it never ceases to amaze me how you act without any regard for anyone else's well-being but your own. You don't get to talk down to me, you self-righteous shrew. Oh, wow. You have a problem with me? I don't care. But don't you dare risk your life in order to get a rise out of Sonny. You know, you are married to an actually, you're married to an actually a really terrific guy. And you have two beautiful children. What, what are your priorities? Kate's right, Carly. Of course she is. You're sleeping with her. But you know what? I can take care of myself. And Kate is more than capable of taking care of you. Excuse me. Carly. No, Sonny, no. <sighs> There is no way that you're going anywhere. Your blood pressure is still too low, and you could pass out, or you could have a stroke. When did you go to med school? <sighs> it's common sense. What? What? You know me. I'm practical. Why are you overreacting? I, oh, oh. You can barely walk. Well. There's no way that I'm going to let you chase after Carly. Not when there's a mad, crazed killer out there who thinks you're his mortal enemy. Better me than Carly. Carly is not helpless. She has a strong sense of self-preservation. Oh, she would just love it if you went chasing after her. Don't give her the satisfaction. Carly and I loved each other for a long time. And she, you know, she always believed, no matter what, that she would come first. It's hardly fair to you or anyone else you're involved with. Fair or not, it's just it's the way it is. And I truly don't believe Carly ever felt that I'd really love another woman. Mm -hmm.